anyone watching in real time? Do you see what I say? Lies were told. Lies were told here at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. <laughs> oh, Melina, so funny. She said, I think you're making a joke you're and I don't fun. care for it. We're at the thrift store right now. Avelina needs to be here. So it's like not my fault. You know what I mean? She's needing a few things. She's going on a trip. She's our adventurer. She's going on an adventure and she's needing a few clothing items. And of course, where else can we go other than the thrift store? She needs a bathing suit too. We're gonna look around. I'm looking for home decor, also clothes. I, you never know what you're gonna find at the thrift store. You can be anyone you wanna be when you come to the thrift store. So let's go inside and check things out. <gasps> Spring has sprung. Look at the sunflowers. Ooh, $20, oh, a little steep. Oh, uh, you know what, is it steep or is it awesome? I'm not sure, this one's looking kind of sad. Can we fix that with like a button or something? It is pretty tall. We've got some ferns over here, but then also a fake fiddle fig. How much do they want to set to? Ooh, $25. All right, what's the color of the day? We got to figure this out. There's also an ancient table from the medieval times actually hold on do I see something amazing what is this is this like a climbing thing for the kids like it kind of looks like a whale am I envisioning things what is this actually it's $20 I'm sure it has a different use than what I'm thinking of it's pretty cool nonetheless <gasps> oh I see some chairs that I really like okay hold on hold on hold on some fun stuff happening a teeny tiny little table I am in the market for one but not for $35 Actually, I don't even want it to be that big. It's pretty though. This is nice, $40, it's a little steep. Ooh, some more furniture. Okay, what's over here? We'll see what that looks like on the other side, but I wanted to show you these chairs. There's a bunch of people sitting down, so I'm trying not to get them, but check. This could be an office chair, that's really cute. Oh, and here's a little cubby over here. $30 for that? Ooh, I like this one more, $34, but it's like a sofa table. It's nice and long. They sell something like this at Ikea. Look, it's Ethan Allen. $35 is a scream deal. Yellow, blue, blue red, 50%. Green is 25%. I don't know why I'm looking at the heels. I really just want to come down to the colorful section. Still heels, hold up. She says she doesn't need any sandals for the camping experience, but I'd like to challenge her on that. I'll wear sandals while I'm camping. 12th Thompson. Those are really cute actually, right? Am I the only one? White tag is not on sale, which is kind of sad. See a lot of awesome white tag items. These are giving boho, also vintage soft spots. There's not many more things boho than a good clog. And this one has flowers on it. This is Holland. Oh my gosh, are these straight from Holland? They've got a nice grip on the bottom. Ooh, house slippers. These are actually amazing. What am I looking for? They have Crocs. Wait, Crocs has like a shoe like this? That's interesting. Some sneaks. I'm always looking for a nice colorful shoe. Oh look, they have Converse up there. I think I found a pair of Rothy's. And they're white. Not that white tag is on sale, but I'm gonna try this on and see if I like it. Turns out they're super duper comfortable. It also feels like they're gonna fall off my feet, but they don't, oh my gosh, it feels like I'm stepping on a hot dog cloud. There's a reason why Rothy's are pop popular. Gonna be popular. I'm also trying to find a New Balance sneaker. I see a couple of them up here. Not really my size or the colors I'm going for, but I am on the hunt. They've got banana shoes, food on anything uh pretty sure that's a yes i always like to check this section too i like the the reds Ooh, these are target maruna i like these they have a little bit more detail on them with that kitten heel i've heard the kitten heel is actually coming back the brand is dana buchanan and somebody calls cinderella <laughs> these are cute too but i would probably never want to buckle them all right pink shoes Ooh, these are talbots these look really nice 30 dollars. what are they insane but also like they're Talbots, so I get it. All right, Avelina has left me at this point. Ooh, these feel extremely uncomfortable. I got a pair that looks like that from Thread Up. I think it was originally from Old Navy. Ooh, these are actually cute. I love a good platform, green platform, floral ballet flat. Ooh, actually, too bad these aren't my size, because I love them. Hold on, deep dark in the woods. Look, I found a coach, $30. Is it worth the label. I actually think I have these in Uggs, like a red, and they're so comfortable. I would say the Uggs are equally as comfortable as the Coach. 
Ooh, actually, these look really nice. These look like a good pair of Reeboks. These are new about, these look like a good lawn mowing shoe if you catch my drift. Actually, to find a good pair of New Balances, I might have to go to the men's section. These are actually looking real nice. Comfort 1000. They do have a lot of white shoes though. Did I say I have to look at the men's section for a good pair of like dad shoes? What's this brand <laughs> with the umlau there? That's interesting too. Okay, I'm gonna look around for a second. Oh, Fila's, anyone remember these? I'm talking like platform Spice Girl kind of shoe. I found some. I do need a good pair of, is green tag on sale? I forgot already. Sadly, they're uh, too small. I mean, I could make them work. No, I can't. They're too small, but I do need a pair to work out in of white, white shoes. I was scouring the shoes up here and I ran across this little statue. Isn't this statue in, what is it, Bruges, somewhere in Belgium? Tell me if I'm wrong. I don't know what, what this whole thing is about. Does it open? I don't think it opens. I have no idea what it is. Is it just a souvenir? All right, I've been looking at it for too long. Okay, it's, it's getting weird. <laughs> oh wait, what is this, a bag of fruit? <gasps> oh, it's got a cut of fruit. You cut into it. So I'm coming up on the purses. Oh my goodness, is this a coach purse? They have some, oh, Michael Kors. Why did I say coach? I don't know. I don't know the difference between anything, honestly. Uh, also would never wear that. Last time I came, I shared with you in the hall that I saw a Dooney and Burke, a vintage, basically brand new. So this particular thrift store often has like higher end brands. Like what's this? This looks pretty legit. Ooh, London Fog. Mm. I don't really care about brands, but they have a lot of the higher end brands if you're looking for them at a good price. And then if you find it with like a half off tag, it could be fun too. Like this is fun. I don't know what the brand is, but it's fun. Oh, is it new with tag? How funny is this? Someone bought it. Apartment nine. That's from Kohl's for sure. Oh, and then of course all the Veer Bradley. There is no shortage of Veer Bradley here. I don't know why, but my kids really like the Lululemon bags that if you purchase something from Lululemon, that's the kind of bag they give you. They've got Aldi, you guys know I love. If I found a Nutella bag like this, I would be all over it. Here's a Gap bag. I love the grocery bags. They just make me happy. I have too many at the current moment in time, but I am looking for some baskets. So let me head. Oh my gosh, the teapots. Look at these cute little teapots with the butterfly. Okay, I'm gonna head to the basket area and it's actually right behind me. So I don't need to put my blinders on. I guess I kind of do. Okay, this way. <gasps> Ooh, baskets. A basket for a plant. A basket for Easter baskets. I'm holding a pair of shoes and it's just getting a little awkward. So I'm needing to find my cart to put this down. Oh, look at this. The cute little bench. If you have stuffed animals or something, I don't know what I would put in there. There's even baskets on the floor. What can I put in this basket? Oh my gosh. It's gonna be May. Copenhagen. What is that? Oh, Mrs. I don't know why. Ooh, Tomboy? Like Tom Brady? <laughs> like Tommy Boy? I don't know why I'm even looking in t-shirts as if I need another one in my life. I don't, ooh, but Paradise is awaiting us for $3.99, $2.99, positive vibes only. I can dig it. I don't, you never know what you're gonna find in the shirts, you know? Like what if I find a Lisa Frank shirt and it's waiting for me here and I don't go through the shirts? Do you know what I mean? So I have to always look. Ooh, cute little pineapple. Travel adventure, hashtag repeat. Does anyone hashtag anymore? I feel like I never really did. So there's that. All right, well, I wasted my time here. That's the truth. Ooh, crabs. Why do I like that? I knew I would find something. Is that new Schweinstein? That's actually kind of cool. It is from Germany and it's a cool $3. I would never wear it, but that is pretty awesome. I've actually been there. <gasps> Is this Rugrats? Well, cool. I just found some PJs. <gasps> Look what I found. I love Pamper Chef. I love finding Pamper Chef. I don't even know what it is. Oh, an apple core, one of those. Pioneer Woman. What's this? Look what I found. Oh, a nut roaster. Actually been looking for one of these. That's really cool. Cause I'm gonna make my own Nutella. It's really unnecessary, but <laughs> it's very cool. If you do it often. A draft system? Okay. A pizza pan and serving stand. I just decluttered 
the one that I had, it came with our house. It was just sitting in the microwave. So I was like, okay. Ooh, party light. Oh my heck. Does anyone have party light anymore? Are we gonna make shark bites? Ice cubes? I saw someone literally with 700 different ice cube trays. Oh, we did used to have that. That's from Costco. Cheese board set. Dude, there, there are so many gems down here. People just don't know what they're missing, you know? Like, which one of these bags is for you? Were you ever in the mood to like collect all the wine corks? No? Okay, me neither. Wait, you know what I do need? Some jars, because I'm about to jar all my spaghetti sauce. I'm about to jar everything. For $2.99 each, is that a deal? I'm gonna have to Google that, because looks like they probably, what the hell, <laughs> I'm sorry. A country wine glass, is that what that's called? It looks like somebody just like opened a box of these. You know what I mean? Like someone probably donated it in a carton and then just now they're selling them one by one. Ooh, for all the buttermilk that I'm making, that might fit the amount. What can I put in here? That's a nice little canister for $3. This one's actually really nice. I don't have enough milk to put in there, but this is the homesteading section. Normally they have some cast iron, but I think I went down the basket aisle instead of looking for the cast iron skillies. Okay. Oh, platters and stuff. I feel like Avelina found something. She's been quiet for a minute. I'm gonna have to see what she found casserole dishes they always have a lot of cookie jars like where else are you gonna find a cookie jar like this you know what i mean that's special that's unique and that's why we thrift since i am looking for picture frames oh my gosh look at that little one i feel like there's massive artwork behind that potential 1000 only for six dollars here oh a super fly is that a ballerina? Oh, that's really sweet. Ooh, Tigger. I got a Tigger towel for my mom. Don't tell her. I'll probably lose it before I even ship it out to her ever, but that's pretty cool. I don't find a lot of nice smaller frames. That one's pretty fun. They have a lot of candles. No time to sniff them. Actually, this one's kind of cute. Ooh, pumpkin latte. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. These faux candles, these can be pricey. $3 for one? <laughs> I mean, still a deal, but come on at the, the thrift store. This one smells good too. It smells like cucumber and honey, cucumber and melon, beans wax. That's interesting. It is honeydew, sunny, sun ripened honeydew. I knew it. My olfactory senses from my middle school days. All right, Christmas. And then I have been seeing people find the, some really cool stuff. I'm actually looking for a globe for Wolfgang's room. I think that one may be slightly too big. I'm gonna keep my eyes peeled. I know the other thrift store that we normally go to has a lot of globes. Look at this one, $40 for a Disney Christmas thing. A ceramic Elsa. That's special. Wait, what is this, a little lamb? Oh my gosh, someone left their collection here. Oh, this little dog. I like that one. Lots of pumpkins. What season is it? <gasps> oh, I love, is it Oktoberfest yet? Look how fun that is, only $8. That's got some weight to it, that one doesn't. Look at Santa back there just piping. Arts and crafts, one of my favorite sections. I have finger paint set here. How much is this? Oh, it's Melissa and Doug, $4, but green tag is on sale. Oh my goodness, Melissa and Doug create a craft. That could be fun, that's $2. Just a brand. Ooh, these are really pricey too, outer cuts and stuff. I'm looking for a little tag puncher and I actually found one last time and I'm like kicking myself for not getting it, but that's showbiz, baby. $4 for a bunch of chalk. I should probably get that, but I'm not going to. I feel like we have enough chalk right now. Total tools. Crayola, Crayola rocks. Too bad winter's over. I feel like I could have really rocked that. What brand is this? Nordica? I love the 90s vibe of that. Ooh, it looks like someone went shopping and then left all of their goodies for me to find. Press, print. Press and print eggs? That's interesting. Also found a, like egg dyeing cups. Don't mind eyes deceive me. An old Bucks jersey? Who's number 20? <gasps> Barber, Ronde Barber? Stop. Stop it. What size is this? Okay. Would this fit me? I would never wear it. Would, it. would this fit Alex? I don't know, but how can I pass up on a Ronde Barber jersey? 
I mean, $30. Brand new. This was probably back in his heyday. When did he retire? Like 2009, somewhere around there. He, w he won the Super Bowl, 2004, 5, somewhere around there. That looks nice. It's an extra large. Is green tag half off? Dad would love that. We walked over here because this is where people like try stuff on and then put it back. Sometimes you can find some real gems in these areas. This looks like a nice beachy cover up if it wasn't so dang thick. And then this looks like a really nice raincoat and the brand totes. Totes, my goats. I love this section. Hold on, they have a ton of clocks. Even though I just bought one and didn't use it. Are these fake eggs? Oh, they're wood. Okay, that's for $2, that's interesting. <laughs> this clock is really cool. I don't know why I'm into clocks. I'm looking for a wall clock with a cat on it. And I know I will find one eventually. It will take time. Sometimes you just have to wait. Remember when these were really popular? Willow something? I forgot what they're called. Tree, willow tree. Nailed it, actually. Someone donated their dolphin collection, which kind of makes me sad. I used to play a dolphin game on my desktop, like Windows. Probably the worst game ever, but I used to play it. Not as much as Typhoon Lagoon. Did any of you play Typhoon Lagoon? I don't care what any of you say, that is a good game. I'm also looking for, I'm scanning for a vase, like a natural kind of vase. This has potential, I feel like. I like the shape of it and I've seen, it looks a little wide, but I've seen how people do like baking soda and paint, kind of make their own. I don't know how much this is, but originally it was $35. Hold on, did we find a retro clock? Here's a wall clock. Cross our fingers, it has a cat on it, okay? I actually, I haven't seen this many clocks here in a really long time. Moment of truth, cat, 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 cat. Oh, boring. And it's actually really pretty, but it's missing some pieces there. People are trying some stuff on. Is that yours? The lion? They're gonna pass on her? This is a find. Sad to report, $30, I'm gonna pass on her too, but very cool. This is the jungle section, apparently. I don't really know. With all the ladybugs. <laughs> My neighbor has this outside of her house. $50. My neighbor has a gem outside of her house. Should we get one? Should we give it her a refresh of a one? <laughs> Found some silicone cupcake molds. These look really nice. $6. I found two of them. Will I use them? Probably not. I'm looking at bathing suits for the tots and I found a Lizzie McGuire inspired one. And I just wish they had as many colorful clothes in adults as they do in children. For real. Ooh, bunch of leotards too. So cute. Hannah Anderson has some of the best PJs. I know they sell them in adult sizes too. I really missed my opportunity with them <laughs> to collab with them. I just, they are pricey and I don't know, but I love them. Every time I see them at the thrift store, I really encourage my kids to get them because they're just so cute and great quality. I was going through the pants and I found the matching pants set. And I feel like I'm just doing the Lord's work over here. The kids toys at the, this thrift store is unmatched. Wait, I thought this was a, oh, a little dance studio. It's so cute. They also have a puppet, play puppet set. Okay, found a gem over here. Not me finding all the gems. This has got to be a vintage find. This is adorable. This might fit Meredith. Come on, Pocahontas and John Smith. I hesitate to put this back, man. Could I make a pillow out of this? This is a gem for real. <laughs> I don't want to put it back, but I must. What else can we find? Smile. You just can't find this stuff in normal stores anymore. You know what I mean? Like little Jack Horner sat in a corner for $4 minus 25%. All right, I'm kind of looking for a unicorn dress or something for Meredith because we're taking her to like a unicorn. I forgot what it's called. It's a unicorn event. I don't really know. I don't think she needs a jacket for it, but I feel like, oh, that's so cute. This is super cute too, my gosh. Will this fit her? Oh, of course it's Hannah Anderson. Look at the beach, I'm getting this for sure. So adorable. Oh my gosh, unicorns. It's not as unicorny as I want it to be. Oh my goodness. Check on this. 
This is giving Lily Pulitzer vibes, but for the tots. Oh, she would love this ice cream dress. <laughs> they have so many cute things for little girls. Like even this dress is darling. Easter dress? Come on, this is Gap. This is super cute too. I feel like that would fit her. I'm not sure if she would love it as much as I love it. Oh, Coney Island. Anyway, we're excited about the unicorn event and she doesn't know about it yet, so don't tell her. Hopefully, I mean, I'm sure she has something at home that she could just throw on and wear, but I thought I'd make it extra special. Love the bell sleeve with the pom-poms by getting her like a dress to wear out, you know? Spring has sprung. Are you working on your greenhouse? They have one here. They have a lot of stuff in boxes and it just, I assume time consuming like this is a really great brand. What is that, a spoon walker? Juvie, Juvie Spoon Walker. What are they trying to sell it for? 30 bucks. Brand new, it's well over 100. Okay, hear me out, Wolfgang's room. Is it too big, is it too much? <laughs> is it too in your face? It's actually really cool, and the frame, I mean, come on, guess that price. Oh, no tag, okay, well that's my favorite kind because now we have to like ask someone and hunt someone down. I did find a couple of other gem pieces, in my mind anyway, like look how darling that is. And then I think this is flowers, but look at that frame. It's just so gorgeous. I'm just trying to find artwork for, here's my problem. I buy way too much artwork and then like, look at this dog. Isn't that darling? And then I don't have enough wall space to like put all the artwork in, but I love it so much. How can I not buy it? One time I saw kids chairs here, like really good quality wooden kids chairs. And I didn't get them. And I have been thinking about them probably every day since <laughs> so i'm in the like kid section toys like look at that a lemonade ish stand like a cafe stand if you will kids learning how to be little entrepreneurs what do they call what's the scouts but for girls they sell cookies girl scouts <laughs> hey can you imagine that's what they're called oh this table might be good for uh something i'm working on a space i need look they always have one of these it's like as soon as they sell one, they're like, well, put the, put the next one out, you know? Anyway, look at this. I don't know if this is a podium. This is really nice. Nice or interesting, whatever. But this is like where they have some furniture pieces. I like that oval table too. I feel like that's really nice. Oh, an orange tree. If only it were real. My orange tree is blooming. Not blooming, but like flowering, you know? So it's only a matter of time before it dies. I also love finding blankets and quilts here mostly, like handmade gems that don't get to see the time of day anymore. Like how beautiful is that? And it's probably like $5. Ooh, this one's beautiful. This one is beauty and grace and it's only $6. Kind of looking for a blue one, but that one might work. That's really pretty, like a green. Ooh. I like that color for Wolfgang's future bed. All right, I'm gonna sift through these. They have, they have so much. Pillows too. All right, my phone's dying. I don't know what this one is, but it's Brentwood Home, $9. It's really, really heavy. Like a weighted pillow maybe? I don't really know, it's heavy. I'll never guess what I found. A relic, a Walkman, a disc player. The good old days is bringing me back. I hear people talk about this brand a lot, Aritzia. It's definitely, it's giving me vacation vibes for sure. I almost picked up this sad looking bathing suit. It's from Land's End, but I just feel like color is my thing. Like if that was a bathing suit, I'd say yes. So I found this one, I think it's just too big. I actually don't know my size, but I like that one. It's actually Michael Kors, which is interesting, right? I didn't even know they made bathing suits but they have a ton here. This is interesting, not my favorite print. You can always find some pretty revealing suits here at the thrift store. Last year, Target had some really cute ones that came with like matching like cover-up sets and I really enjoyed that. Like this one's really cute. I like a good green. That has potential. Where is the bum coverage? Ooh, a bright pink actually my favorite is this even a bathing suit what's happening with that that's not my size purple I could dig a I could dig a purple suit 
kind of like a candy striper here. Lena found a gem, gingerbread man onesie. Wow, in the dresses no less. Ooh, look at these overalls. And I found this dainty little cardigan, super sweet for summer, for springtime. I have some horrible news. So as you can see, the picture frame wouldn't fit in the cart, so I was just carrying it around. And at some point, the lion picture, it was so cool, so unique, perfect for Wolfgang's future room. And at some point, I left it behind. Guess it wasn't meant to be, but I'm crying. I found the most gorgeous Easter dress if I didn't declutter all my Easter dresses, I wouldn't be having a problem of trying to find one. I don't know if that's gonna fit. And then I was searching through. I figured, um, that is a great vacation find. Not that I'm going anywhere for spring break or vacation. Is this like a corduroy jacket dress? I mean, where else are you gonna find that? I'm just saying. Is this a two-piece set? I have found all the gems right here. I think this is the two-piece set I've been looking for. Ooh, <laughs> and it's a green tag. All right, I'm gonna give that a try. I don't need clothes. Why am I in the clothes section? Ooh, a Nike sweater. I feel like Avelina would like that. Gotta call her over to look at it real quick. She's looking at pajamas. This dress is super cute for springtime. It is selling for $20, so I think blue tag's on sale, but it's brand new with tags. It's from The Gap for 70 bucks. I could never. I, I don't need clothes, but here I am looking anyway. I can appreciate some clothes. That's a really nice dress. Ooh, it's J. Crew. Love a good J. Crew dress. Pockets? No sale. No pockets, no sale. That's just my policy, you know? It's not... I didn't make the rules. Avelina with the gems coming in hot. We fly tonight. It's a hocus pocus pants set. Not a set, just pants. Thackeray Binks. All right, mom coming in with the finds. I just found about 75 pairs of Lululemon pants. And by 75, I mean maybe four. So I'm gonna see if any of them fit her. And before I do that, before I break the news that I found all the gems here, I'm going to look through the two-piece sets. Is this two pieces? <gasps> and it's Capri. Ooh, actually, I kind of like this. Well, sweaters in summertime, springtime. I say summer, ooh, <gasps> amazing. Amazing. I don't know about those booty shorts though. I feel like my booty will just hang out the bottom of them. Hey, Avelina, you'll never guess what I found. Ooh, a prom dress. Two piece set delights. You don't have to get both. Ooh, I like this one. If only it came with some bottoms here. Ooh, it's giving hibiscus flower. <laughs> okay, did you hear that? First of all, after the, the flowers, the puka shells are coming back. My kids are asking for them. I'm like, is this a joke? Oh, these have pockets. Oh, I'm dying to try these on. I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but this is a vintage delight Doncaster, and it comes with more. Comes with shoulder pad shirt. I'm crying about this. Also, fifteen dollars. Are they out of their mind? I guess for what you're getting. Also, oh my gosh, is this a set too? Jeans. This will never fit over my birthing hips, but I really love this. What is this? United Colors of something. $50 are they out of their minds? <laughs> I love this though. This is probably the coolest thing I've seen. Uh, sad that I won't be getting that, but uh, happy that I will be saving $50, right? Ooh, I love this shoulder pad wonder. It's a really good one. Sometimes I find really good skirts this way. So like I won't necessarily wear the top, but the bottom, like this pleated skirt. That is a find and a half. All right, I'm gonna look through the pajajays real quick. See if I can find anything. I've realized mine are worn and they don't fit. And the elastic, is this Lily? A Lily robe? I think they got me. I think they got me with the Lily robe. Ooh, also, what's this? Remember that Kate Spade bag I literally gave to someone else? Wouldn't be a thrift haul if we didn't feel like a woman. <gasps> Actually, these might be perfect. I'm not into leopard print, but they're capris. I'm always looking for, for whatever reason, I don't like pants for pajamas. Oh my gosh, the sloth. Is that a sign? Wants to come home with me? I gotta tell you something though. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> I'm gonna try it all. Why am I trying all this crap on? I don't know, but no one can stop me. All right, what's this? What's this? Nothing good. Going back and forth here, there, and everywhere. And that's the worst thing to do at the thrift store because that's when you don't, you miss the gems that way. You know what I mean? You have to comb it like a fine tooth comb. You gotta just 
one thing at a time. And that's why oh, it takes me forever to come in here. Hold on. I think we found the winner. Oh, come on. Tell me your grandmother doesn't own one of those. Oh, my heck. Look at these little sleepers. Oh, man. I feel like a woman. Not sure leopard print will ever be me again, but oh, my gosh. Look at that tra travel bag, that fun travel bag. Oh, a good little pair of crocky walkies. New with tags on them. That's just wild to me. I watched someone who went through the shorts and found just like the most incredible shorts. Like I kind of love these. I'm gonna try them on. She found, I don't, for me, like pants and shorts are just so hard to find any that fit me slash look good slash whatever. The paper bag, oh, I hate when I do that. The paper bag style, I'll wear it till I die. I don't care, but apparently it's not in <laughs> for like since 2017, mm -hmm. but I still rock it. I don't even care. Ooh, these are really nice pajama shorts. These are good capris. Oh my gosh, I actually heard that capris are coming back in. These could be funky and fresh. I'm down for shorts that kind of look like a skirt when you put your legs together, you know? All right, well, I think that's about the coolest. Ooh, these are loft, but like my booty. Ooh, these are really cute too. Potential. I just, the things she found were just so good. They finally got into putting a go back rack by the mirrors, which is like, thank you so much. Check this Disney sweater, not for me, but thought it was really cute. Also, this jumper is so dang adorable. I love the color. And then I see that they're out here putting outfits together. Like, what is this? Oh, is this a whole dress? Okay, I thought it was a shirt and I thought someone did it with this. Isn't this the cutest little skirt you've ever seen? Is yellow tag half off? I hope so. These are actually PacSun old style and I'm really into them. Shorts for the summer. These are actually the most amazing capris. I personally don't love when it hits right above the knee. I mean, they look nice because I have something underneath, but I actually love them. Avelina found a cozy and I found a cozy. <laughs> No pockets? Why does Lily pull it? I bet this thing was like $200 brand new and no pocket. They can't put pockets in a robe for me. Anyway, what did we, I mean, Golden Girls Who is all I'm saying. She's gonna use that cozy as a pillow and a blanket and I think it's genius. Hey look, vintage shorts, guess what they were doing for the ladies? Pockets. Why don't they do that anymore? See, has, see how simple that is? It's like a hole and you can put stuff in it. It's amazing, just like these shorts. Does it even need a matching shirt? I don't know. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> uh, sadly, the pants are a little too big, but otherwise, this is the set of my dreams. No pockets though, so no. I actually love this dress. I think it's super flattering and super sweet. Perfect for springtime, but it doesn't really fit. I'm actually deciding. Does it not fit? <laughs> I mean, obviously it looks like it's a little stretchy, but I think it's getting caught right here, like where the fabric meets. So. I'm gonna work on it a little more, but I think it's, it's like super flowy and beautiful. Easter dress who? I feel like John Travolta, these pants are so dang tight. It's gonna be a no for me, but it was fun while it lasted also pockets. I asked Avelina if she would go to Target with me like this and what'd you say? I said she would look like she's about to go to sleep. I think I look good. <laughs> Is this the vibe? Is this the vibe? I feel like it's cropped. Did someone do this on purpose? Is this yeah. how it was manufactured? I actually don't even like Rugrats, but I do like the vibe of Rugrats. <laughs> how are you almost as tall as me? That seems unfair. I'm 5'9". <laughs> okay, I found some. This really cute, I feel like it's a vintage skirt. It's really sweet. I just don't think I would ever wear it. I'm trying it on for, oh my gosh, it has pockets. Why did they treat them so much better back then? <laughs> that women couldn't have a bank account, but they had pockets. And that's where they saved all their all their extra change for later. Anyway, this is $25 for some reason. It must be a good brand, but I really, I like the print. I think it's sweet. <laughs> I think yellow tags half off. This is the brand, I don't know. Ooh, Inez de la Fresange. Paris, nailed it. <laughs> folding bucket for summertime fun oh my gosh i need to look for stuff for the kids easter baskets <gasps> jumanji 
we were in construction site, our neighbor's building uh, a house, another house, it's a long story. Um, anyway, we didn't see the kids for a second. We were like, watch, they come out of that pile of dirt with like Jumanji, you know? You know, if you know, if you've seen Jumanji, you know. We're looking for shirts and stuff. Uh, I'm finding some things for the little tots, but Avelina thinks it's funny how I'm like obsessed with Melissa and Doug. It's not my fault. They make like really good quality toys, but this is super cute. I think my kids are a little above. Ooh, it's a little creaky. Needs a little WD-40, but this is such a cute. I wonder how much this retails for. They're selling it for six. Like, you know what I mean? I say they're too big for this, but Wolfgang is literally one. So I might get it for him. I know it's missing some pieces. Okay, super cute, but I'm gonna leave it. Someone rode the gondola and did not want to remember it. Okay, we're finding a lot of gems and I found this one and I'm just like kind of obsessing over it. She wants some t-shirts to cut up, like, you know, crop them and make them slouchy and stuff. And I just thought that was so perfect. She also found a Spider-Man cozy, koozie. I don't know what it's called. It's mighty, oh, okay, that's interesting. It's giving welcome to my homestead and I actually love it. Are you watching? Are you watching in real time? Is everyone watching in real time? Do you see what I see? The lies, lies were told. Lies were told here at the Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. You guys, this was here last time I came. I didn't film, but I shared it on Instagram that I found this vintage Dooney and Burke. I didn't buy it because I only wear like over the shoulder, not over the shoulder, crossbody, different color. The tag was a different color, but it was $75, it was priced at $75. So I can appreciate the fact that they, like this zipper, that's real, man. That's real, it's real inside, right? Someone debunk this, tell me that it's not real. I'm about to buy it, I'm just kidding. I won't because that's $75 half off. So now they're hoping when it hits half off white tag that someone will buy it. And I bet you someone will now that it's priced right. I'm just saying, great find, Dooney and Burke. Okay, I'm finding out that I'm not really a dress gal, but if I was, look how beautiful this one is. This one too, I kind of like that vintage style. My kids had a performance at school today and I've never seen so many ladies dressed in Lily Pulitzer. And I was like, man, I love your Lily. And I just love this piece too, but it's $30. And I don't know, this is a great vintage, not vintage, but beachy find. I just, I don't know if I'll wear it, so I don't know. I'm talking myself out of it. Ooh, this is cute, and it's green tag. Checking on the size there. Cute, another lily. Please. This is giving Toy Story. Athelina found an electric scooty. 